A new exhibition showcases abstract images shot across Taiwan and around the world. The images are on display now at the National Center of Photography and Images in Taipei. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang takes us in for a look. These photos were shot by Taiwanese photographer Ran Weiming before taking off on nighttime flights. He uses long exposure photography to document the runway, buildings, and cityscapes through his airplane window. The results are vibrant trails of light. At first glance, these photos might look like photos of galaxies and stars, but they are actually raindrops. This is a new exhibition in Taipei showcasing abstract photography. When you see the work, you will definitely want to say, wow, this is such a beautiful starry sky. You may not be able to imagine that they are raindrops transformed into something we can't imagine. The combination of the light and raindrops makes it look like the universe. I'm uh, from New York. Things I do recognize, you know, like it wasn't in Taiwan. Like, I think I saw some photos of like Antelope Canyon in the United States. And it's cool that like this exists in Taiwan, like this museum. And I think there's this just free, uh, for, accessible for anyone to come into. Photos are really interesting. There's a lot of things that you can maybe get out of it emotionally that you wouldn't be able to from a more, you know, real life day to day, maybe like more street photography. These photos are shot by Taiwanese photographer Mike Zhuang. His works were shot at Laomei, depicting the beauty of a coastal village in northern Taiwan. His works was greatly inspired by elements of black ink painting. <laughs> There are many inspirations from Chinese ink paintings. The scenery does not look like Lao Mei. It looks like a landscape painting. Another photographer, Lin Tianfu, also shot photos along the north coast of Taiwan in Badozi. Using his phone, he captured the geological wonders of coastal textures and rocks that have been there for many years. Lin Tianfu used his mobile phone to shoot Badozi. Everyone thinks that mobile phone art is not a form of art. However, he wants people to see the possibility of a mobile phone. Badozi is one of Taiwan's special terrains. The colors he captures are very conspicuous. In addition, the shape makes it impossible for us to tell that this is an ocean view along the north coast of Taiwan. Aside from photography works, the exhibition is also showcasing installations. This installation looks like a kaleidoscope and was made by scanning different plants and flowers. You may not understand alternative photography. She created this image after putting the plants in a scanner. It is an infinite visual space. The exhibition will be held at the National Center of Photography and Images till July 30th. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Liao Songjun in Taipei.